Hi folks, welcome back to Hamblechea Ranch. My name is Jason and along with my wife Jen, we left Chicago in 2021. We came out here to the beautiful state of Maine where over the last three years we have been carving out our own off-grid homestead. Now we've recently acquired some chickens. We've got five hens and a rooster. Uh, I spent quite a bit of time building a, an elaborate uh, uh, coop for them. Uh, one that I think is gonna keep them protected. However, here in the state of Maine and where we are located at specifically, we do have a stoat problem. And so in today's video, we're going to be building some stoat traps, specifically shoebox stoat traps that I saw uh, online uh, on a, another channel, uh, the Hippie Chick Off Grid Maine. I'll leave a link in the description below. So as I said, we do have a pretty significant stoat uh, issue. Um, we have seen them here in the carport. We've seen them uh, over by the firewood shed. And I've also seen their tracks over by the shop area. So today we're going to be building three of these traps. Okay, so to build these, we need some supplies. Number one, we need a shoe box because this is what the trap is actually going to be made out of. Uh, we also then need the trap. Now these traps here are just some small victors that I have. I've got three of them. Uh, they're just footholds, but uh, we're going to go ahead and use these. We need some duct tape because on some of my boxes, I've got these little holes here and I want to go ahead and tape that up so that uh, the stoat doesn't go in that hole. We've got some bait, which is basically some peanut butter. Now, in the original uh, video that I watched, uh, she uses a spoon to keep all of her bait on. But since this is, this is uh, a spoon we use, uh, I cut out some little paper, some cardboard here that we'll be putting the, the, the peanut butter on these instead of the spoon. So, all right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to uh, tape these holes because I'm going to be making a hole here on the side. And I just don't, I don't want him going in this hole here. So we'll throw some duct tape on these just to get them closed. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is uh, about an inch off the, the, the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and cut a small hole. All right, so we've got a small hole here. Uh, and the next thing now is to go ahead and set our traps. Now here's the funny thing, I've never actually set one of these traps, so uh, let's hope I don't hurt myself. But if I do, uh, I am definitely leaving it in here and you'll see that in just a moment. Okay. But let's hope we don't, uh, let's hope it doesn't, uh, yeah, let's just hope. All right, so there it is. That wasn't so bad. Now I do want to test it because uh, as Laura pointed out, as it sits right now, something would have to be very heavy uh, to set this off and stoats are not very heavy. So what I want to do is I'm gonna go grab a stick and let's just see how much weight is, gonna, is needed to set this trap. All right, let's give it a shot. I've never actually done this, so. Let's see. Whoa, that was actually pretty quick and almost no pressure at all. I was actually pretty impressed with that. We're gonna go ahead and get this set. Just like so. Okay, I think what I wanna do is just to, because this is more or less gonna be more of a practice run for us. I'm not really sure if this is gonna work or not. Uh, what we're going to do is just leave it the way it is. If I have to adjust this trap later, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. So but for right now, there was really not a lot of pressure to set this. So we're going to just leave it. Now, the way that we're going to build this is fairly simple, really. Uh, the trap set is going to go in the box right near the front door. And then what we're going to do... 
is we're going to take some peanut butter here. A nice big scoop of it. We're going to stick it on this cardboard. Just like so. And then we're going to stick it on the opposite side. Of where the trap is. So we have the hole where the stoat's going to go in. Uh, we have the trap. And then we have the peanut butter. And that's it. <laughs> that's, that's the extent of this trap. So what I'm going to do. Because I do know that the stoat has been... Uh, using my blanket here as a place to feed. Uh, it's where I found or where I saw the stoat here just a few days ago was actually inside of that blanket. So let's go ahead and get this moved out of the way and then we're gonna set our trap right up on this blanket. So the other reason I'm putting it over here is I don't want it on the ground uh, the dogs aren't going to be able to, to, to get into it but I just want to be safe better safe than sorry so uh, we'll leave that there and we'll check it tomorrow and we'll see if we got a stoat so I've got two more shoe boxes uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these two set up and ready uh, one of these is going to go in the uh, woodshed and then the other one is going to go over in the lumber yard because that's where we've seen them. So I'm going to go ahead and get these set. Let's go ahead and stick this one in without setting it. So we're going to go ahead and set this one up in the woodshed. Okay, so we have our second trap set up right here in uh, the over by the firewood shed uh, more specifically where our splitter is the reason it's here is we know that something keeps running around here at night because that light keeps going off uh, not every night but every so often so we're going to leave that trap there and we'll check it tomorrow okay so we're over by the lumber rack where we are going to be setting up our third and final stoat trap it's literally <laughs> A shoe box with a hole cut in it and a whole bunch of peanut butter. Like I said, I don't know if this is going to work, but uh, if it's going to work, then we'll know in probably a short a couple of short days because uh, we've got stoats here. So we're going to find out and we'll see how well it does. Um, so I got to go ahead and set this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll show you where this one's going. You know, it's really easy to set these, but <clears throat> I'd really hate to have, <laughs> have it go off on my fingers. I'm sure that would not feel good. From what I saw when I tested it, I don't think it would break a finger. But then again, I sure as hell don't want to find out. All right, so let's get this trap in here. And there's really nothing to it. I just lay the trap next to the hole and that's it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, into this in, into where I'm going to put it and I'll show you guys in just a second. Okay, so this one I set down here on the floor. So I know from the tracks I've seen that the stoat has come in that gap right there uh, during the winter time uh, with the uh, snow i was able to see it so i have the hole on that side so we'll check it tomorrow and we'll see i've never set these traps before the hippie chick off-grid main channel uh, says that this works so we are testing it we know we have stoats so our intended target is out here um now tomorrow is going to be a massive storm here in northeast maine 
and I'm not sure how effective these traps will be uh, during the storm, but uh, I do know that they are extremely, at, the stoats are very active at night. So tomorrow morning, uh, we'll get up, we'll come check all of our traps and we'll see if we were successful. The winds are really picking up here though. My tarp is taking a beating. So we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna get in the cabin, call it a day. All right, so it is the next day. And we are gonna go and check on our traps. First trap we're gonna check on is here in the lumber yard. So the trap is still, doesn't look like anything happened here in the box, but let's try it. Nope, nothing there. All right, the peanut butter is still in there. I'm gonna leave this alone. Go check the second one. While we make it over here to the woodshed, just let you guys know, uh, we are in store for a massive winter storm today. They're calling for anywhere between 12 and 24 inches for us here, which means <laughs> this is gonna be a massive white desert of snow here uh in 24 by 24 hours from now the snow's coming should be here in i think uh about 30 minutes or so 45 minutes is when it's going to start so i want to get out here and check these traps before that happens so all right we are at trap number two and from the looks of it it doesn't look like it went off either Kind of still see the trap in there, so there's that. But let's go ahead and open it. Nope, it is still set in there. So I'm gonna leave this one here. Kind of bummed out that uh, we didn't catch one yet. But I guess, you know, it's kind of good because they may not be around. But now we're going to go check that third one, which is the one in the carport. That's the one where I saw a stoat a few nights ago. So let's go check that one. All right, so we're here in the carport. And... There, you can see the trap. I moved it from where it was. I just thought this was a better spot. So let's go ahead and check it. All right, so let's check this one. Nope, nothing. Trap is still set, peanut butter is still there. So, So what that tells me is one of two things. Number one, they are just not around, which is very possible. I don't know what kind of like territory they have, but it is just possible they're not around. Uh, I do believe uh, the traps are gonna work in theory. It makes sense how they're set up. Uh, we might, if we catch some mice here, Maybe we'll throw some dead mice in there because I definitely know they they like that. And uh, some rotting meat or something too. They love that. They, they love that stuff. Uh, but so we've got the traps in. We're going to leave them set. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we catch one. You know, if, if, uh, if we can catch them and get rid of them, at least keep them pushed out away from the chickens. That's all that matters. And every day that the chickens survive and make it, it's a wonderful day for us. All right, well, that'll do it for this video. So thanks a lot for sticking around and watching it. Uh, rest assured that if we do catch one, I will certainly put an update in one of the upcoming videos uh, and we'll show you guys that. So if you liked the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you folks on the next video.